Good afternoon. The Chancellor, George Osborne, has defended the government's austerity drive after a warning that Britain could lose its AAA rating. The leading credit rating agency, Moody's, has placed Britain on negative outlook, meaning there's a one in three chance it could be downgraded within the next 18 months. Labour says it's proof the government's cutting too far and too fast. But George Osborne insists it shows Britain's right to confront its debt problems. This is a clear warning that Britain has to deal with its debts. We as a government are not going to waver in our commitment of doing just that. And I see this as a reality check to the whole political system and indeed the whole country that Britain has to confront its debt problem and the British government is doing precisely that. This is a weather vane for the direction of, of the wind and where it's blowing and if even they are losing confidence in the Chancellor's plans then it's seriously time for him to wake up, smell the coffee and realise he's got to change plan. And you can find out all about that story on our website channel4.com forward slash news. Some better economic news, the rate of inflation has fallen to its lowest level in more than a year. The Consumer Prices Index dropped to 3.6% in January from 4.2% in December. The fall was partly driven by a slower rise in fuel prices, but it is still well above the Bank of England's 2% target. Britain is under threat from a rising tide of militant secularism, according to a cabinet minister. In an article in today's Daily Telegraph, Baroness Varsi warned that religion is being sidelined and marginalised in the public sphere. The Muslim peer's comments come days after the High Court ruled prayers shouldn't be said during council meetings. The extremist Muslim preacher Abu Qatada is spending his first day at home after being released from prison. He was freed under strict bail conditions last night after six years in jail. The government says it's working with authorities in Jordan to try to deport him, but needs assurances that evidence gained through torture wouldn't be used against him. The prospect of using stem cells to help heart attack patients has moved a step closer. A study in the US showed the treatment halved the extent of scarring and led to the growth of new heart muscle. The British Heart Foundation said it was early days, but could be great news for patients. A heartwarming story for Valentine's Day. That's the news. We're back tonight at 7 and lunchtime tomorrow. Let's take a look at the weather now. This afternoon will be rather cloudy and breezy with some light rain across the north and west, but bright or sunny spells are likely further south. Highs of 10 Celsius. Tonight it'll be dry for most with clear spells. Patchy light rain will continue across parts of the north and west and it will turn rather damp across East Anglia later. Lows near 5 Celsius. Tomorrow will be mild but rather breezy with light rain across East Anglia and northern and western parts of the UK. The best of the sunshine across central areas. Highs of round about 11 Celsius.